Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the On Demand series. In this video, we want to have a look at post-processing of uh, simulation results in which we want to map data from one data file, one result file into another. Let's go for it. So this is actually an interesting issue to go for because, you know, it happens a lot that you have saved your result into different data sets from the ProView point of view. I mean, that's the term that ProView uses for, for data files. So into two different data sets, but when you want to post process it, you want to map one of the results into the another one. So, or Let's, let's put it in this way that you have the data saved in, in a file, but you have the mesh in another file or the representative geometry or volume that you want to show to the audiences, show to, your, to the users, let's say, is in another file. And then you want to use the data in one file to, pre, to be reflected on the geometry of the other file. And this is, you know, a case that happens a lot in, you know, in scientific computing and computational uh, engineering projects. And the case is, uh, you know, from the, the case that I want to show you is uh, from a mechanobiology simulation for you know for the displacement of fibers but uh yeah these are from a colleague of mine and with his permission i use these results to show you that how how it 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 works in in action so i start preview and then i want to first i want to show you how the results uh look like oops this is just the first one coming here so yeah these are actually the fibers and these are actually, these are indeed the, uh, the mechanical uh, variables output. So, uh, to select this, these are actually the fibers. And on the fibers, I, we have absolutely no, uh, no data. I mean, no variable, no scalar or vector as the output. But on the me mechanical variables, we have actually a displacement field. Which is yeah the the dislocation or displacement as a result of um, applying a force and in mechanobiology this is because of the movement of the cells, but I I don't want to go for the science behind, but um, yeah let's see how we can apply this displace displacement field which is also difficult to see because uh, yeah we need to choose points or no points Gaussian yeah. And then uh, this displacement field, and as you can see, that it is mostly zero, but is uh, uh, but has some values here. It's because you know this is you know container or the hydrogel or extracellular matrix in the in this literature, and the cell is here, and that's where you have some dislocations. Okay, and then we want to apply, we want to map. This, uh, this data into the data that we have here uh, for the fibers. And to see the fibers, we can also apply the tube filter. And let's click apply. Oops, this is too much. What about this? This is too low. And this, this is nice. So I apply the tube filter. We have discussed filter in the ProView post-processing series. Check it out if, if you haven't yet. Uh, so yeah, this is a tube filter. And then, uh, yeah, this is the presentation of the tubes, of the fibers, sorry. But at this moment, I don't want to have it. So what I want to do is uh, just applying uh, this, uh, uh, these loads. I want to combine them with this geometry. So I don't need to see it, but you know, the common filters that people usually use for, for this is, for example, for group data sets or append data, it was append geometry or append data sets. You know, these are common techniques that you may try first if you face such a problem. But in this case, it doesn't work because we don't want to combine. This is for another purpose. We don't want to group data sets. We want to apply this into this one. 
And in order to do that, we can use uh, resample with dataset. This is a great filter that does what we want here, but in order to use it, we want a source data array and we want a destination mesh. If I apply it at this moment, it doesn't work because at this moment, initially, as you saw, for the mechanical variables output, they are you know, scattered in the discontinuous space. And then it's difficult for this algorithm to map them into another data set. What we can do is to create a volume or volume representation or volumetric representation out of this data. And in that way, mapping from that volume into these fibers can be very easy for part of you to handle. So we already discussed this, if you remember from the video that we discussed, um, the physics informed neural networks, the DLNA uh, filter. And in this case, this is DLNA 3D. So I apply that on the mechanical variables and the mechanical output, the displacement fields, if you remember. So I click apply. It takes some time. In this case, it's, it's quite fast, relatively fast, let's say. And yeah, this is what it has. So it, 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 it creates, sorry. So you can see that now we have volume. And uh, to ha in order to have some insights into that, I can, I can also show you what is inside. And then uh, we can have this turned on to apply changes uh, automatically. So I can drag this. So you can see that this is actually where the cell is replicated and I have bigger displacement field. So this is really an, a sort of interpolation on the data to create a 3D volume out of it. So I delete this one and this is the DLNA filter, the, the DLNA results, the result of the DLNA filter on which we want to apply resample to with data set. And with this dialog box, you know that from the purview um, episodes from the post-processing series that it appears with the control space. So resample with data set. So now with this, uh, with this DLNA data, we can select it as the source data array. This is actually the simulation result and the destination mesh, which is in this case, the fibers on which we want to map the simulation results. And then I click OK. And now on this one, this is, you know, this is a type of, um, you know, uh, let's say visual presentation in pipeline browser purview. When you apply filters, it requires the input from two parent pipelines. So it says that, yeah, these are combined, this one and this one to create this uh, data set. So, and then I can select displacement field and you can see that, yeah, actually the displacement field that I had in this mechanical variables output are now mapped into the fibers. And this is the time that we can apply a tube filter on that. And then, uh, oops, I didn't, oh, it's because it's turned on. I said that I didn't press apply, but yeah, that's, that's actually the results. And this is what we wanted from the beginning to have this, uh, the simulation output on this fibers uh, mesh. In this case, they were just one dimensional entities, but yeah, this is how it works. So yeah, this is, uh, this is quite nice to, to check out, you know, you, you will, you may face it in your simulations when you want to post, pro, post process stuff. But um, yeah, as I said, this is, a, you know, a common uh, use case that you save uh, stuff in different data sets, in different VDK files, and then for the post processing, you want to combine them. I hope you enjoy it and I hope that you find it useful and you can apply it for your own use cases. See you next videos. Bye.